Hi friends, this is part 10 of the Azure DevOps series. Uh, in this video, we will be cloning the Azure DevOps repo. So Azure repo. So this is my organization. Uh, I'll use this project for this one. Uh, Fitness Geek IAC. I've got some Terraform code in it. And for example, if you're working in a new company and you are given access to Azure DevOps, this is how you will clone the repository on your local system. So you go to your project. Then you go to the repository. So on the left, you will see repository. And in the drop down, select your project. Uh, this is, sorry, select your repository. This is the repository that, that repository that I want to clone. So there are two ways. You can use command line or you can directly clone via VS Code. Uh, for this demo, we will be using the VS Code method. Uh, we will also do a next video in which we will use the command line to clone the repository. So uh, there are multiple IDEs that you can use. Uh, I will, we will be using the VS Code. So if you click on it, it should open a new tab. And that will open VS Code. Allow. It will then ask you to select a folder. Once open, select the destination folder where you want to create your repository. Let me create a new folder within which I would like to clone this project or this repository. So I'll select this and it should start cloning the repo to my local system. You need to make sure that you have access to the Azure DevOps organization. Once done, click open. And there you go. We have successfully imported the Fitness Geek ISE repo on your on our local system. If we go to the folder, you can see this is our subfolder and all the files are available here. So that's it. You can start, you know, working on your feature branches and collaborating with your team. Let's do a few quick git commands to check. Let's do a git status on main branch. So we are good. Your branch is up to date with origin. All right. Uh, origin main, which is our remote repo. So when you uh, clone it from your Azure DevOps, your origin slash main is your remote. Let's do a good branch all and you can see all the branches. So that's it. This is how you clone the Azure repo and you can start work creating your feature branches and then pushing it to your uh, remote and merging it via a peer. Thanks for watching. Keep supporting.